I want to share something with you. Over the past few years, one of the areas I've struggled in the most has been in the area of consistency. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video right now, you also struggle in this area. I want to help you with that today. And I want to help you by sharing with you three things, just three very actionable, practical things you can start doing today that have helped me increase my level of consistency in my life. And I believe if you would incorporate these three things into your life, you will see results in your level of consistency as well. So let's talk about it. All right, number one, if you want to increase the level of consistency in your life, here's what you gotta do. You gotta learn to tame the distractions. Yes, tame the distractions. Now, I know that can be a very tough task. Why? Because there's so many distractions, right? We got social media, we got TV, we got this event, that thing. Our phone itself is like a walking distraction. But here's the thing, if we're not careful, and we don't tame these distractions, and we all end up looking like this guy. Squirrel. As someone who perfected the squirrel effect, I can tell you, when I took a step back and became honest with myself, I realized that the root cause of my squirrelism was because I was really trying to intentionally avoid the things I knew I was supposed to be doing. Those dreams, those goals, the passions, the, the purpose I felt like my life was meant for, the way that I could get away with not thinking about those things and not pursuing those things was to avoid it and instead to spend my time on all the squirrels. And for you, maybe you've experienced the same thing. Maybe you've taken the time uh, away from the things you're supposed to be doing and instead dedicated to all the squirrels that are grabbing at your attention. But here's how you tame that. Here's one very practical way you can tame the squirrel in your life. Every Monday, me and two of my other friends, two of my close friends, we jump on a call, what we've named since then, Accountability for Success call. And what we do on this call is we share three big rocks that we have coming up that week. And there can either be a goal, a growth opportunity, or a project that we need to progress. And the, the goal with this entire call though, is that if you don't have whatever that big rock is that you wanna accomplish uh, done by the next week, or at least the next goal by, the, by that following week, then you will be asked to pay a $20 fine to each call member. No, 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 no. Now, for some of you, you've already shut the video off or you're thinking about it by now because that sounds so extreme, right? Like who wants to pay $20 to someone because they didn't get a goal done? Especially for those of us who struggle with consistency. Well, let me tell you, when you begin to put a dollar value on your goals and your dreams and the things that you've, you know, historically and been inconsistent at, I promise you your consistency levels will go up. Why? Because you, just like me, do not wanna be paying someone $20 every week that you don't progress in that goal. So, just something to think about. Maybe you need to find two of your close friends or three of your close friends and get together and put something together sim similar to that. Whatever it takes, man, because your purpose, your, the success that is your destiny is not worth missing out on because you were inconsistent. All right, number two, if you're serious about increasing the level of consistency in your life, you need to learn to be the creator of your day. Yes, learn to create your days. Now, if you're like me, then historically, you've probably struggled with the idea of planning and even more so the idea of having a planner. I remember when I was in college and my teacher would ask me, oh, what was my five-year plan? Or we'd have to write out these five-year plans. And I remember those being some of the most stressful times when they would ask me that because I struggled to plan out the next hour of my day. And if you're like that and you, and you understand where I'm coming from, I then trust me, I know what it feels like to go from feeling like you can't plan out your next hour to being able to plan out an entire year. And I want you to be able to do the same thing. But here's how you do it. You have to start with today, planning out today. If you can't create today, then it's gonna be very hard for you to create tomorrow and the next day. So the second thing I want you to learn to do is learn to create your day. Number three, if you are serious about increasing the level of consistency in your life, this is probably the most important point. And the one barrier I see the most when I talk to people about consistency 
And that is, if you're going to increase the level of consistency, you need to learn to turn that slingshot of self-defeat around, okay? Now, what do I mean by slingshot? No, I'm not talking about the little three-wheeler, you know, sports little car that everybody loves. I love it too, but I'm not talking about that. I'm actually referring to the same kind of slingshot that is used in the story of David and Goliath. Now, if you never heard this story, I encourage you to stop this video and go read up on the story of David and Goliath, because then this point will make a lot more sense. Because in that story, we see David pick up a slingshot, pick up a rock and sling it at Goliath, which was this, you know, behemoth man and he defeated him, right? But here's the thing. What if in that story, David would have picked up that slingshot and turned it towards himself? What then? Now you may be saying, Joshua, that makes no sense. Why would David take the slingshot and point it at himself? Well, that's my point. Why would someone like you take your words and point them at yourself and talk about your future, your dreams, your passions, and say, I'll never accomplish this, or I'll never be, you know, I'll never be consistent, or I'll never, you know, accomplish that dream, so why even try? That's the same thing as taking that slingshot and pointing it at yourself. And instead of shooting it at the inconsistencies, now you're firing it at yourself, your dreams, your purpose in a self-defeating way. And I want today, I want you to make a commitment to stop all the self-defeating talk, stop um, all the self-defeating thoughts and stop putting yourself in self-defeating environments around self-defeating people, all of the above. I want you to take a true assessment of what are the words you're speaking to yourself? What are the thoughts you're allowing to go um, in your mind in regards to your life purpose, your success? What, what are you allowing it into your, you know, your circle? Because I can guarantee you if those thoughts, those you know, words, those people, those environments are defeating, then you too will feel defeated and you won't go towards your, your purpose. You won't go towards the things that are create, that you were created for, that were meant for your life. So to recap, there's three things you're going to do in order to start increasing the levels of consistency in your life. Number one is you're going to tame those distractions and you're going to do so by tapping into your network of friends, finding two or three people that can help hold you accountable. Okay. Number two is you're going to do a better job at becoming the creator of your day. I don't care how much you hate planning or hate planners. You're going to find a system or something that works for you, even if it's only planning out the first 30 minutes of your morning, whatever. Start somewhere. Remember, we want to go from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, wherever you're at, start from there. And the last thing, which is probably one of the most important things, stop all the self-defeating talk, thoughts, and, and environments that you may have been placing yourself in that only, you know, repeat the same cycles of inconsistency. Okay. Those are the three things. Now I want to hear about how these things are working for you. So if you are going to incorporate these things and you do begin to, you know, start to implement them into your life, I want to hear about it. So write down in the comment box, let me know how's it going for you. What's working, what's not working. Okay. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's one of my goals this year to do more of this and, and be more intentional about creating content that will reach out in this outlet because I do like to get out and travel and go speak at places, but I really see a, a real purpose in doing this and taking time to sit down and talk with you. And if you find value in it, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so we can stay linked up and you can be reminded constantly that success is your destiny.